Good morning, my name is George Piperitis. I'm a plant breeder for the Central Region based here in Mackay and today I'm going to talk a little bit about tissue culture, sugarcane tissue culture. Sugarcane tissue culture is not a new system, it's something that's been used uh, in sugarcane industries around the world for many years and really it's just another option for growers to get quantities of clean seed material on their farm quicker than they normally would the conventional way. The next lot of orders will be for um, autumn planting in 2014 and to get those plants in your field in autumn next year you need to have your orders in by uh, the middle of July. Now to order your plants you need to talk to your local productivity services team and they will compile the orders and then submit them to BSES. Okay we're here with Rod Lamb, a farmer from Marion in the Mackay district. Rod, you've got some tissue culture planted here three weeks ago, can you tell us about? Well Gay, we um, got to uh, two lots of um, two trays of each variety 242, 249 and 240 uh, just for a trial to experiment basically how to do it so that uh, I didn't kill any more than two trays of each um, it's a bit of sandy lo loamy country that we use for our seed production seed plant production yeah. and uh, we planted them about three weeks ago uh, fairly easy procedure it was it only took us probably half an hour to plant it all. And yep. Yeah. So you ran through with your planter first to make a furrow? Yeah, we um, uh, just ran to make a wider furrow. We just ran through it first in a, on a dry run and then come back and planted them in so we could get a bit more depth and a bit more soil over the top of the seedlings. Once we start to get them a bit, bit more height about them, we'll uh, bring a bit of soil in around them. And uh, by that time, I suppose, when they get about a foot high, we give them a bit more nitrogen, or I would believe, to try and keep them, keep them going through winter and trying to get a bit of growth out of them by Christmas time. And, um, for irrigation purposes, you've been lucky, it's rained this time round, but in September when you get your next lot, you've got some trickle tape ready to go? Yeah, our plan was that uh, we were going to uh, just run trickle tape um, out along the drills uh, after we planned them, but because of the rainfall we've had now, um, it's been great, we haven't had to do it, but I would expect that in September uh, you'd have to have your in your favour because uh, if you went without a week on these little seedlings without water I think you'd lose a fair few of them, you'd have a few fatalities, but um, yeah, I think trickle tape, that's what we we're going to do. And yeah. For our belief, for my belief is that uh, if I can, if, if it doesn't take much to grow these, uh, in our size farm we'd probably We'll be looking at about 10 trays of each variety every year so that um, we've got new fresh canes coming along all the time and we've got a quantity of them canes coming along all the time. Easier than expected. Yeah, yeah, no, Gay, it's, uh, it was. I uh, anticipated it was it was going to be a bit of a project, but no, it was, uh, yeah, it was quite easy, eh? and it was, it only took us half an hour, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know if it took us half an hour to do this, to plant these out. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a major project at all. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Um, if you want any more information about uh, managing your tissue culture plantings, check out the BSES website and talk to your local productivity staff about putting your order in before July 15.